my god, there's cat hair everywhere! You can feel it. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel if you happen to be new here. My name is Jess. As you guys can tell from the title of this video, I finally got my ass in gear and wanted to sit down and film my unhaul. I spoke about this when I did my Authors pick my TBR, or not my TBR, but my book haul. I talked about it in my vlog. Like, I just kept saying, oh, there's a video coming next week, which is last week, in case you were wondering. I filmed it, hated it, didn't, I, I went to go sit down to edit it and was just like, I don't, I, I didn't even like look bad. I just didn't like the damn video. And that is because I actually already sold every single book that I'm about to talk to you guys for. Because if there is a book that I don't like, I've already read that I don't want, a book that I just want to pass along, I'm the type of person where I need to purge it immediately. And what actually spurred this is the first book that I'm going to talk about, the first set of books actually that I'm going to talk about, and that would be The Extinction Trials by S.M. Wilson, the first and the second one. I read these for the quarterly book club, or I read a good bit of them. I think I got to page 260 of 380 of the first one, and I was like, you know what? Like, <laughs> I'm reading so many books right now, you guys. Like, I'm not even joking. I think my Goodreads says that I'm reading seven books right now. And I am actually actively trying to read seven books right now. I don't know when I became this person. I don't know how to stop being this person, but I just have too many things that I need to be doing and too many books that I need to be reading to continue to read books that I don't like. This series, if you're not familiar, is about two islands, one that's inhabited by dinosaurs, one that's inhabited by people and they are trying to get to the other island because they are running out of resources on theirs. But the problem is that the dinosaurs are obviously assholes because they haven't been around people their entire lives. So anytime they send any kind of explorative like group there, they end up dying or only a few come back or you know, whatever. And I liked the premise of the book. It was pitched to me as Jurassic Park meets The Hunger Games. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't care about Hunger Games. I have no desire to read the series, have not seen the movies. Just, I know enough about it that I just, I don't care. At the age when people are reading things like The Hunger Games, I was reading things like Battle Royale and Lord of the Flies. So when Hunger Games came out, and I know it's supposed to be like a little bit different, you know, every book is different, obviously. It just, I just didn't care. I just didn't care about them. So this book was more, I imagine, Hunger Games than Jurassic Park. Like I said, I haven't read it, but it was definitely not Jurassic Park. If you guys are not familiar, Jurassic Park is one of my absolute favorite books ever. I love the movies. I love the franchise. I just, I love dinosaurs and that movie and that, well, the book is especially is just so breathtaking in the way that they talk about the dinosaurs. And here in this book, like, I felt like it was just like occasionally thrown in and I just, I just didn't like it. And you're supposed to care about the characters, but I didn't care when they died. I was actually like excited when people were dying. because I was like, yeah, something's actually happening. So I sold these books and that was what really kicked it off for me. And I was like piling them in and I added a ton of other books. Um, the next set that I actually sold was the entire Lunar Chronicles. I, so I read the first one, loved it. I read the first one actually like three times. I think she could have stopped there. It should have been a standalone. The series should not have continued. I have no desire to read the rest of them. I tried to read, what's the second one? Scarlet? Is that the second one with the wolf? Oh my God. So I got to the point in that book, I read that entire book, but I got to the point where they were jumping from train to train, Scarlet and Wolf, and they land on top of the train. It's a, it's a, it's a fucking train. I imagine it's probably going pretty fast. And they're like making out on top of the train. And for the entire book, he's like growling at people. And I'm like, why don't you just piss on people? Because you're basically acting like a fucking dog. I had no desire. Like I remember messaging people being like, did I read that right? Like, am I reading this correctly? Is this the same book that you read and loved? I just gave up on that entire series. I just, I couldn't continue. And I really wanted to, but I just know that I'm never gonna get around to it. I've had that series for forever. Um, I read the first one years and years ago, like the year it was released, and I just don't, I didn't wanna continue. So I sold the entire series to Half Price Books, and I think I got like $10 for it, which is probably more than it's actually worth. Um, along the same line, I did also sell my Wires and Nerves graphic novel. I'm kinda sad about this because I do like Cinder a lot as a character, and I liked her kind of story arc, but unfortunately I didn't, I, I just didn't want to keep it because I believe like there's going to be later editions of it, and I'm sure it's going to have more characters in it, and I'm sure they're going to have more about the other books, and since I don't care about them, why keep just one book of a series, you know what I mean? And then to add insult to injury, I also sold Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is a retelling, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a Sleeping Beauty, Belle, I don't know, it's another retelling, but 
Honestly, I know nothing about it. People I know that have read it have absolutely fucking hated it. I have attempted to read it, read like two pages, wasn't feeling it, set it down like two years ago. So I've had it for a really long time, still haven't read it, decided it was just time to get it off of my shelves. Uh, the next book that I sold was Renegades by Marissa Marr. This book is a little bit different. This is a book that I know I may eventually want to read, but I have zero space on my shelves. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I had to double stack some of my shelves now to save space, like to have space to put stuff. And I was looking at this book, but one of my close friends actually recently read this and absolutely loved it. And it was like, you need to read this. And it was like, right after I'd sold the book and I was like, damn. So it's gonna be, I'll probably borrow it from the library. Cause like I said, I do want to read it. I did buy it right when it came out. I think I had the signed edition too, but I just, I'd rather just borrow it from the library, see if I like it. And then later on, if I want to purchase it, eventually by the time I do read this, it's going to be so far down the line, the book will be like $4 when I actually do go to buy it. So I think I can wait. The next one I have here is a book that uh, either me or my husband bought, but it's The Revenant. This is actually the book that spurred the movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. It's the one that won him the Oscar. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Grammy's Music Oscars film. Um, that won him the Oscar. And the movie was phenomenal. There is a reason why he won. It was such a stunning movie. The book, however, was like trying to read a brick. I could not do it. I tried. I got like 15 pages in and was like, this is too dense. Can't read it. Gotta get rid of it. So I ended up selling it. The next two books I have here I'm actually kind of sad about, but it'd be Empress of a Thousand Skies and Blood of a Thousand Stars by Rhoda Beleza. If you guys are not familiar, I loved Empress of a Thousand Skies. I truly loved that book. It came at a really great time in my life when I wanted to read science fiction, but didn't really know where to start. And it was like a more dumbed down version of science fiction for me, at least because it is a YA. It might even be teen now that I think about it. But I've been reading a lot more adult science fiction recently and trying to, I did try to read um, Blood of a Thousand Stars and I just, I couldn't do it. It was too simple in a way. I think when it comes to my science fiction, I don't often crave dense things, but with science fiction, I, I crave dense stuff. I want a lot of terminology. I want a lot of characters. I want a lot of backstory. And why a science fiction is often not enough for me. There's not enough meat to it. Um, obviously I have Illumine here and I love that series. I truly do because I love the characters. But for me, just trying to read Empress of a Thousand Skies and uh, Blood of a Thousand Stars, I just, I couldn't do it because I just, it didn't, I just didn't interest me. <laughs> there, like I said, there wasn't enough to it. It was like very boring. And I tried to read it out like 20 pages into it and was like, that's it, I'm done. Which brings me to Starfall and Starflight. I can't remember which one is the second one. I think Starflight is, whatever i bought the second one when i bought empress of a thousand skies and i bought the second one accidentally before i bought the first and someone pointed it out to me in a video and i was like oh okay well i'll wait and buy the first one six seven months goes by i buy the first one and sit down to read it not really into it i think if i would have read it at the time when i was reading a lot of YA science fiction i would have really liked it because it would have been really important to me at the time but like i said it just wasn't I just didn't care about it when I tried to read it again. Not saying it's terrible books, not saying that any of these books are particularly terrible, but I just didn't, <laughs> I just couldn't get into it. Uh, the next book I have here was a complete cover by, why did I do this to myself? It'd be All the Wind in the World. Uh, this is a romance -y YA teen book. They live in like the desert and they're like oppressed and not supposed to be in love. Um, I saw the cover and bought it because it was pretty and it had like a three and a half star rating, four star rating on uh, Amazon. And then that was before I realized that Amazon reviews kind of suck and you shouldn't go by those. You should just get on Goodreads or ask a friend. And yeah, I just never read it and I had no desire to read it. I could barely tell you what it's about except for the fact that I know it pivots really hard on romance means I'm not going to like it. Okay, the next book I have here, I only unhauled. Jade, don't come for me. I unhauled Annihilation because I want all hardcover editions. So I'm not gonna linger here long. I really am intrigued by the first book. I'm awfully confused by the first book at the same time, but I'm more intrigued than anything. So I want to start buying them in hardcovers because the hardcovers, I'm sorry guys, are fucking beautiful. And that tiny little paperback drove me bananas. <laughs> the next book I have here is Room by Emma Donahue. This is a book that my mom actually gave to me to see if I wanted to read it. And I can tell you, I'm never gonna wanna read it. The content of this book uh, terrifies me. It's about a man who, Rapes a woman, keeps her in his basement, essentially. She has a baby. She raises the baby to a boy in this basement. And then eventually, you know, they escape or whatever. But I've seen the movie, first off. And I, it's not content that I want to read. It's not something that I ever want to read. It's not something that I'm ever going to be 
up for reading, honestly. So I'm, I went and sold that book. Now the next books I have here are gonna shock some of you. I sold uh, my Grisha trilogy. Now I sold the special edition Grisha trilogy, the like second release that they did of the paperbacks that were like kind of shiny. And the reason why I did that is because I love this series. Of anything Leigh Bardugo has written, this is one of the only things that I've ever truly enjoyed from her. Um, I'm really interested in King of Scars, but, but I did not need two sets of this book. Looking at my shelves when I was rearranging them, I was like, okay, you need to get rid of some of these. The only books I will ever own two, the only series that I own multiple of is Shades of Magic. I own the black editions they're coming out with and I own three versions of Harry Potter. Fight me, I don't care. But for some reason, I was like, I need to get rid of these. They're taking up so much space. They're an entire box set of books. And I have a very nostalgic feel for my original ones. So I decided to keep those over the special editions. And honestly, thinking about it, I probably got more for the special edition ones. The next book I sold, Please don't get mad at me. I sold The Cruel Prince. Will I be reading the second one? Yes. Am I interested in Cardin? Yes. Do I think he's as swoon worthy as everyone says he is? No. But I am a little interested in this, the second book only because I'm hoping it actually gets better or gets good in any kind of way. I, when I first read The Cruel Prince, I was mildly interested in it, thought it wasn't the worst book ever. Um, I hate Jude. I hate her sisters. I find Cardin very, Interesting, he's the only character that I think makes me want to continue with this series. And I think she kind of knew that that was going to happen. I think Jude has no idea what the hell she wants. She has no idea what she's doing. The story doesn't make any sense to me. Why are some of these relationships happening? Why did she forgive her dad for literally killing her mom in front of her? It just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. The story was really all over the place. And when it wasn't all over the place, it was very reminiscent of other books that I had read. Now, like I said, I'm still interested in reading the second one because I want to know, but I'm going to rent that shit from the library because if you think I'm going to buy another book, another one of these damn books, no offense to Holly, like I don't think Holly Black is like a bad author at all. It was written really well. I just didn't like the content of it. I'm going to try to read her other stuff, but I, I'm just going to borrow Wicked King, I think is what the second one's called. I'm just going to borrow that from the library. And the last book that I unhauled, I'm actually really sad about. This is the book that I'm the most sad about. It would be Godblind by Anna Stevens. This is a book that we read for Quarterly Book Club and I'm the only person who enjoyed it. And I ended up selling this book because I think I actually don't like this book as much as I thought I did. So I, when we read this, this backstory here, I've never read Game of Thrones. I've seen like the first one and a half seasons or something like that. And I, you know, didn't have that knowledge. When we did the live stream, I was like, I really like this, I really like this. And everyone kept saying, Jess, you need to read Game of Thrones because this is seriously just a regurgitated version of Game of Thrones. And looking back on it and kind of doing a little bit of research, they're so fucking right. And I just can't get on board with this book anymore. Like the more, the little things that people talked about that bugged them about this book, I didn't realize actually bugged me when I was reading it. Like we were talking about characters during the live stream and even some of my favorite characters, I couldn't fucking remember their names because all the characters sort of were just like one character eventually. And I don't like books like that. Like I like my shit to blend. You know what I mean? Like I like characters to kind of be cohesive and work together, but I like them to also stand out as their own freaking people. And I realized that that's the biggest, biggest reason why I didn't really like this book anymore. I didn't want to keep it. And I had the second one pre-ordered and I had to cancel it. But it really makes me sad because I truly loved this book when I read it. And that reminds me, I need to get on Goodreads and actually change my star rating for this. All right guys, so that is it for this video. That is my long awaited book haul that I waited so long on that I actually already sold all the shit, <laughs> but I hope you guys can appreciate it anyway. Um, if you guys like this video, let me know down below if there are any books that I got rid of that you feel like maybe I should borrow from the library. Uh, I can hear some of you yelling at me through the screen on some of these books, but try to be nice, okay? Some people just really don't like books that other people really like, but let me know down below if I got rid of some of your favorites, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.